So what we got out here today is tip leaf three pearl millet. Um, roughly about 20 acres worth of it. Um, and we're cutting it for hay or making an attempt to down in the uh, southern part of North Carolina. Um, first time I've ever grown it. I usually do coastal Bermuda. So this has been uh, interesting so far. Um, surprised by its growth. It's very tall. I mean, this is, you know, we're open almost three feet here. Um, used the mower conditioner to get it down. Um, and then I'm running it behind it with a tether because it is very wet. Um, drying down is going to be a concern of mine. Um, hopefully we can get it dry. Humidity is pretty low right now. Um, chance of rain shower starting Thursday. So we'll see. I've had some people tell me you can get it up in four days. I've heard some people tell me you get it up in a week. Probably just depends on the condition. Um, but again, very impressed with it. Uh, this is roughly uh, five weeks old. So shot, shot up. Um, planted a little bit later. Planted on June 21st, I believe. So you can see you know, a lot of growth in just that short period of time. Um, very impressed with it. Got some weeds. Haven't sprayed, didn't spray with, for weeds. Mostly uh, pigweed, palmer amaranth. Uh, mostly coming from the tire tracks where we had poor germ. Um, but overall, very impressed with it. We'll see what kind of yield we get. We've had a very dry year. That's why I planted it. Um, May release less than, received less than two inches of rain. Usually around here it's five inches for a month of May. So as you as you can tell, that's uh, that's a, that's a lot less rain than normal. So we'll see what happens. You can see it's very stringy and long. But again, our recommendation was to cut about 30 inches, and that's where we are. So we'll be checking in with you after it dries down and we rake it up.